So here's the problem with hand sanitizers. The process of making them is really complicated. They have to be pure, powerful, but also safe enough to rub into your skin. So that's where the recalls come in. So take a look at this. This is a list of all of the hand sanitizers that have been recalled in Canada. More than a hundred in total. And if you scroll through, one of the common reasons that you see is improper labeling. But another big one is the presence of potentially harmful contaminants like methanol or ethyl acetate. Methanol, um, we would see uh, in, in more um, like antifreeze, things like that. If there's ethyl acetate in it, what you may find is that the hands get really dry and really irritated quickly. Now, don't worry about remembering the names of any of those compounds because you will never see them written on an ingredient list. So what can you look for on a label to know whether or not hand sanitizer is safe? Well, one thing you can look at is the active ingredients. Health Canada, at the start of the pandemic, started allowing the use of technical grade ethanol, strictly controlled and on a case by case basis. The reason you don't normally see it is because if you're pregnant or if you are breastfeeding or if you use too much of the stuff or you inhale too many of the fumes, it can be unsafe and that should be indicated on the label. But Health Canada decided to allow it because there was a shortage of food grade ethanol and it decided the benefit of clean hands outweighed the risks involved. Now, let's be absolutely clear on one thing. For most of us, technical grade ethanol is safe. They're allowed to use certain technical grade ethanols that are approved, that have um, fewer contaminants in them. So the most direct way to know whether your hand sanitizer is legitimate is simply to look it up. And I promise it's really easy. All you have to do is Google Health Canada authorized hand sanitizers. You would follow the link and there you'll find a list of every single one that's been approved and you can simply search for the product by name. If it's on the list, then you're good to go. If it's not on the list, then you wanna stop using that hand sanitizer immediately and take it to a pharmacy so that they can dispose of it properly. But just remember, universally agreed upon is that better than hand sanitizers is washing your hands with soap and water.